joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Peter Blotzer. He is the CEO at Spire Global. Peter, it is fantastic to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks so much for having me, Judy. It's a true pleasure. So, Peter, now tell me what service does Spire provide and what's your ultimate mission in space? Spire was founded 12, 13 years ago with a mission to leverage data from space to improve life on Earth. So we have a massive satellite constellation, the fourth largest in the world, to collect data about all sorts of human and nature's activity and provide it as a subscription to customers, over 700 all across the world. Now, McKinsey recently said, if you don't have a space strategy, you need one. So tell me, what are your thoughts about that statement? And do you think McKinsey is correct? I do think McKinsey is correct. And they placed an analog to what they said in the 90s about internet strategy because they recognize that there is an exponential technology that is driving the improvements of the capabilities. Back then it was computers and the internet and today's space. So I do believe that they are correct. And space is already used every single day by more people than they know of, but that is gonna dramatically increase in the future. Peter, can you talk about the technology behind Spire satellites that can deliver these solutions to its customers? There are three types of spacecraft or satellites. There are those that look, they basically take reflections from the sunlight. There are those that talk, they're basically transporting data from one spot on Earth via space to another spot. And then there are those that are listening. And that is what Spire does. We use radio frequencies to observe the weather, ships, planes, soil moisture, wind speeds, all sorts of information. And then we analyze it and deliver it to our customers as a subscription. Now, Spire provides what it calls a space as a service. Um, elaborate on what this is and who are your customers? So when you think back to Amazon back in the days, they were selling you know, books and other com uh, uh, products, but then they had to develop a massive infrastructure to leverage that internet, that computing speed to sell their books and products. And eventually they realized that there is so much demand for using this technology that they let other people rent it and they called it Amazon Web Services. Spire has replicated the same. We run one of the most complex, reliable, and sophisticated space and ground infrastructures, and we let other people rent that infrastructure from us for their purposes, helping others also to use space to improve life on Earth. Peter, why is it important to simplify access to space? Because space is very, very difficult. It's not just that we think space is very hard and difficult, it really is. And as someone who has walked that path, I can tell you there is an enormous amount of technology and capabilities and processes and licenses that you have to develop to use space to make our life on Earth better. But every single company wanting to do space has to do the same thing over and over and over again by letting others just ride on the back of our IP, our processes, we lower the barrier to leverage space and mean that the benefits of data from space, that ultimate high ground, gets to benefit more people faster. And I think that's a very, very worthwhile goal. And Peter, finally, tell me, how are Spire's data and solutions leveraged by customers to improve life on Earth? There's basically three ways. You know, we make life um, uh, more prosperous, we make life more sustainable um, uh, and we uh, make, uh, make life better, so to speak. So when we think about making life better, there are companies that use our data to provide uh, cheaper and more reliable electricity to the homes by monitoring the weather impact. When we talk about sustainability, you know, we have companies that use our data to measure things like greenhouse gas emissions or that use it for, for their operations to lower their cost, making it more prosperous, more profitable, um, but also lowering their footprint. Or we have companies that use our data to detect and have early warnings about wildfires and mitigate those risks. So making life on Earth more prosperous, more sustainable, um, uh, and faster growing, that is how we help our customers with our data. Peter, it was wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me in Floor Talk today. My pleasure, Trudy. It was a true honor.